morning. It is Thursday and I am on my way to my third call. My second call is a furnace blower motor that's dead, but it has a special, it's a special motor with a mounting bracket tack welded on. So I have to see if I can get something that'll work for that. Uh, I'm on my way now to a CAC not working. Uh, we'll see what the problem is and hopefully we can fix it. Okay, so I'm at the air handler in the attic above the garage, and it's always a great sign when the homeowner doesn't know where the return air filter is, but it's at the unit. And it's wedged in there, folded. And of course, absolutely filthy. completely plugged and I'm going to take a look inside Let's see if I see any debris or anything on the coil itself and it looks to be fairly okay now I am going to open up the unit Thermostat is on, but fan's not running. We'll see if we have power. Condenser's not running. Maybe a blown fuse. It's a ream two ton unit. See a fuse up here. So I guess he's blown fuses before. And here we have our unit. And I'm gonna check for power. Well, all I've done so far is take off the cover, take off the electrical, and test for voltage here where power comes in. But I took a peek at the fuse and not sure if you could see it, but we're burnt out. So what I'm gonna do is put my little popper in, which will blow if there's a short anywhere, and see if I can find any shorts. Since I've had this exact situation before, I'm actually gonna go outside and check the contactor coil and see what that's homing out at, because I've had that blow fuses and transformers in the past, and I don't want to risk doing that without testing the contactor. I owned out the contact coil outside and it was good. I'm going to check for shorts between thermostat wire while Peter uh, pulls the thermostat off the wall. And if I don't have continuity between anything, then I know I don't have a short. I'll check for continuity between ground as well. No shorts to ground outside, so we'll see what happens. Okay, now we have the unit running with my little popper on there that'll trip if it shorts out or goes over amp and I'm checking my amperage going through that low voltage and we have 0.38 and it's not going to blow until 4 um, around that so just monitoring that and making sure that stays good doesn't spike up or anything and if that's good I'm just going to put a fuse in here and inform the customer of what's going on so we've been running well, um, amperage has stayed the same, just filling out the invoice with the information on the unit, line's getting cold, liquid line's warm, I measured out that filter 16 by 27 by 1, and no shorts to ground, no shorts anywhere that I can find, uh, we'll cycle the thermostat, see if maybe the thermostat's bad, but I doubt that. Uh, we're going to replace that fuse now, and I think we should be good here. Couldn't record because I was on the phone with Peter, but I s had him cycle the system between off and on, uh, fan and auto, fan on, wait for everything to shut off, waited for things to come on, watched the amperage, and we 
stayed the same um, drop down of course when it wasn't running but everything seems to be all good so I'm going to put that fuse in and move on to the next so we're all good here I got the fuse in buttoned it up taped up that opening left a little bit so we could pull it off and I even left a little bit of tape in case he needs it when he puts the filter in but he wants us to take a look at the other systems so that's what we're going to do so I'm taking a look at his other first floor unit and his second floor unit got both condensers out here both are discharging heat both are condensating I'm going to check out the air handlers first then I'll check the uh, contactors and capacitors amp draw and make sure everything looks good First floor unit is down in this crawl space. Making sure that's sturdy. Sketchy ladder. And just gonna take a look around to make sure that I'm alone down here. No raccoons are possums or rats or anything like that and here's our unit our condensate pump and I guess I'll have to get over to the other side pretty cool we got an old ream furnace I'll take this apart take a look around on the inside uh, and hopefully it looks good that condensate pump was actually draining as soon as I walked past it it started to drain and discharge the water so that's good uh, our condensate pan looks dry, looks like it's almost always probably been dry. And I'm gonna get this open. And here we go, here's our dusty blower compartment. Got our limit sensor right there. Um, transformer, the top right. Wiring for our fan motor comes up and in and there's our seven and a half microfarad capacitor. So I'm gonna pull that out and test that. Couldn't pull it out, but I got my leads on there. It's rated for seven and a half. We got 7.6 within range. So plug that back in and I'll take an amp draw on the motor, even though the door will be open. And I know it's cooling. I'll check the coil out and we'll move on to the other unit. He really just wants to make sure they're working. And again, we got a coil with another furnace by Ream. Check everything out the same here. Uh, there is evidence of water being in the pan. The units have been running and it's dry right now, so I'm not concerned about there being a leak. Uh, I'll see if he'd like me to blow out the drain line or install a union so that I could blow out the drain line, but I'm gonna guess he's not gonna want to do that. Peter is grabbing me a bucket because I'm gonna clean the inside of these out. The coils don't look too bad, uh, a little bit corroded on the outside, but electrically everything is testing fine, so I'm just gonna clean out this one and that one as well, just to get some of that debris out of the way. Got all the larger debris out into the bucket and holding the fan up while Peter back into out the looser debris. Uh, we just want to make sure that water doesn't sit down there and it can flow through the drains and making sure there's no dirt there will help that. The customer just came out, saw what we were doing and was very pleased uh, that we're not just looking at everything but we're making sure everything's right, which is always a nice feeling. And after we get this cover on, we'll set all the thermostats back. Uh, Peter did clean off all the return uh, vents, as well as change the filters. Uh, we like to clean the dust off the vents, so it looks a little bit better and makes the customer happy. One less thing for them to do. But looks like that's going to be it for this call. Finished up there. The customer is very, very happy. He asked how he can let our boss know how good of a job we did, and he tipped us, a quarter mile, so I'm on my way down to meet with crossing. Mike, because he has a universal blower motor mount, and we'll see if that works on the blower motor that I just pulled out on a call before this. So I'm actually going to cut this 
this video here since my view time on average is only about six minutes it's not really worth making videos any longer um, I recorded more today so I'll post uh, definitely another video but this is gonna be it for this one so if you liked the video like it if you didn't like it like it anyway comment any advice or tips or criticisms or feedback and subscribe thanks for watching